And while Wayan is getting ready to take the light of Christ out into the world, I will ask Bob Crilly to please come and bring the charge and benediction. And I will turn this one off. Thank you, Sharon, for inviting me to do this. It's a real joy to be back in the midst of the people of God. I kind of feel a little like that movie uh, where the camera pans the congregation at the end of the movie, and not only are the living there, but the dead in Christ are also present. And so my heart is filled with not only this gathering, but a lot in your midst. Uh, Virginia is with our uh, youngest son, Mark, and they have two children, an 11-year-old boy and a five-year-old girl. So she's doing the grandmother thing this morning, and uh, she would uh, be, join me in, in expressing her joy in being in your midst as well. I also want to thank John for some wonderful tender, spirited playing of those hymns. And in addition to that, we all had a backrest, and you had none for the whole service. So I'm grateful for that. Uh, I want to give a charge and a benediction that is not original with me. Uh, to get ready for Fort Street, Sharon, I went to Yale Divinity School for a master's degree. And while we were there, uh, we attended Battelle Chapel, where William Sloan Coffin Jr. was, and he gave a charge one morning that struck me with such force that I memorized it. And this is what he said. May the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord make his face to shine upon you and be gracious unto you. May the Lord never let you sell yourself short and to be found occasionally risking something big for something good remembering that this world is too small a place for anything but love and too unsafe a place for anything but peace so may God take your minds and think through them may God take your lips and speak with them and may God take our hearts and set them on fire for Jesus Christ and all God's people said Amen, Amen.